Hi everybody, it's Morgana Hilra here. I am coming to you to share some interesting things. First off, I've got the bento hands. That's the first thing I'm going to show. No, that's the second thing I'm going to show you. First thing I'm going to share is this outfit, this overall look. Okay, now I was inspired by the hands to make a plus size shape, which I will explain momentarily well not just for the hands because other people have been asking me if I was going to make a curvier shape which is really funny because my shapes are actually curvier than most but that's fine um I decided to go a little bigger that's fine that's fine and as you can see it's actually in the process of being made um this is going to be named Michelle and uh yeah that's it so my overall look consists of facade tattoos uh, blueberry dress. Um, my mask is from Ball House Movement. My hair is from Lamb, and my skin is from Glam Affair. My shoes are from Nior. I have already blogged them, but I wanted to blog them again because they're pretty and they fit what I need to do today. Oh, and my eyes. My eyes are a combination of Katawa and Glam Affair. Um, at one of the events, um, wait, what? See, I just blanked there. No, not Glam Affair. <laughs> My skin's Glam Affair. My eyes are a combination of Katawa and details. Durr, bing, bing, bing. See, I'm kind of ill right now, so please bear with me. Um... I'm always sick, I know, but <laughs> this time it's actually a cold or flu. I don't know which yet, but, you know, depends on how my body reacts today. All right, so coming in closer, I'm going to remove the um, mask so you guys can see the skin. But this is um, the mask from Ball House Movement. Now, you can change the... Um, measurements on this um hold on a second i wanted to get a close-up of this eh, actually i have it on y and that makes it wider okay um and the reason that is is because when i increased the body fat it totally distorted everything <laughs> now you can change this by your normal y um, z and x there it is and of course all your overall. Okay, so I'm going to get a close up of this. Yes, I'm taking pictures at the same time. Actually, no, I won't because I already got that picture. So we're good. Detach. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? <laughs> the head that I'm using is BB from um, Katawa. And the shape underneath, um, the head, like, like I said, this is a um, work in progress. So at the moment, the head, like the shape of the head and everything, is the uh, mizzen shape now i'm basing this plus size shape off the mizzen shape but it's going to be a totally different shape obviously right i'm just working off of that one all right so there's the face is this a pity mm. i'll share the different skins and whatnot too um okay so we're going to come back out here take a look at the tattoo it says angel down. I like that. And if you guys don't know why yet, you guys just haven't been paying attention. Especially those on my Facebook. <laughs> oh, look, it's an angel. You know, I thought it was a heart. Shows what I know. All right. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to show you the HUD first for this. Now, I am wearing, I'm using a wind light setting. It's called Midian Places, and I do have shadows on. So the lighting on here might be a little bit different than what you see. 
But if you're on Firestorm, then it's easy to fix. You go to Places, Midian, um, sorry, Quick Preferences, which is down in your corner here. And then you just go to Windlight Sky, Places, Midian. All right, so here is the HUD. I'm going to show you the nail polish first um, because I went and changed the colors. How you do this is you select the finger that you want to change. So we'll go with this little one here. No, not that one. No, not that one. There we go. And we'll change it purple. Maybe. Purple. Whoopsie. Why did it go with both? Uh. No, I don't want it. I'll go with that one. There you go. See, you can change them different colors. You just have to remember to select the nail that you want. So I'm going to go with this one and this one. And we're going to go with, let's think about mom. Wrong one. There we go. You can change the length of your nails. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's go with medium. There is also preset skins. Um, currently, they have Glam Affair, The Skinnery, and Acura, or uh, Acruca. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm wearing Glam Affair, which you can find up in this generalized area. I'm not 100% sure that I have the right tone on, but I know it's not that tone. <laughs> I'm thinking it's this one here. So, doo -doo -doo. there's an area for you to save skins in. So you just touch it and then hit save. See, ta-da. Uh, you can wear your tattoo layers and your glove layers as long as they have Omega. I should have stopped by and gotten the Omega um, Vista thingy. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. See, this is what happens when you fall asleep. <laughs> um, so if you want to wear your tattoos or if say there's a skin on there that you really want to wear but it doesn't have the um, the preset uh, like pink fuel pink fuel has Omega so you just buy the Omega HUD and the Omega HUD from Omega it's like I believe it's 99 Lindens or if you join the group you can get it for 50 Lindens um, plus there's like updates and stuff like that. Um, okay, let's see. You can change the hues and saturations and luminance. I'm not even sure what those are, so I don't bug with them <laughs> ever. I mean, I know they're colored, but, uh, you know. So we've covered the nails, we've covered the tattoos, we've covered the skins. Okay, so let's go to, actually, we're going to do it this way. You can keep looking at this hand, okay? So that's this one. These are the different things that you can have. Okay. Do, do, do. Doesn't look like that one there. Because it looks like the thumbs out, but it doesn't put the thumb out. So that one's a little bit different. But really, who cares? <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> um, there's your fist. It does cut through the dress. I think it's just because the dress is incom incompatible with this outfit. But whatever. Like it's ever stopped me from wearing things. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what that means, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> This is for like people that have those smoking kind of things, or you just, I don't know, pose like that, I guess. Number one, and this is for your bags. I like the rest it like this. There we go. Now, Tisriel, who is nice enough to buy this for me. Um, thank you, Tiss. <laughs> he um, can vouch for me that these these are the second um, release, right, the, from the update. Um, the first release, the hands did not look proper to me. Um, and this is why I'll show you. 
Now, see how the fingers are? Like, they, they look normal now, but before, how it was, see how there's like an arch now? When they first came out, they were all the same length. And it just didn't look right. But now that there's the arch, I think they look very pretty. All right, so now we're going to do, this is the uh, test animation or the sample. Now, remember, it's probably going to work into the hips, but what AO out there doesn't. All right. Woohoo. Oh, I might have to actually get up off this thing. Yep, that's my post stand, and it's going down. Sugar, we're going down. Goodbye. Yes, my studio and my big butt. I think that's where I need to be. Okay, yep. See the animations. Is it going to do it? Or did I mess something up? I probably messed something up, didn't I? Hold on a second. There we go. Not sure what I did, but I did something. Come on. Show the hands. Ugh. Okay, how about this? It comes with okay so what it comes with is your uh, Benito ha Bento Hands Alpha and that's for your default body but if you are like me and are constantly wearing your favorite mesh body which mine is Belize <laughs> you can hide your hands so that's good that works for that you also, for you people out there that like the hands but don't have the bento viewer, don't worry. These are your gifts right here. No bento, no animated hands. Okay, so from what I understand, you can still color them and everything. It's just that you don't have the animations. All right, uh, then you have your um, the Vista Bento Pro Hand Version 2 Beta Info. You get your HUD, and you get your hands, left and right, obviously. <laughs> Here are the stands that come with it. Whee, yes, I know. I've lost control of my camera. It's fun this way. As you can see, it cuts in, but that's like a lot better than it was. <laughs> Trust me on this. It's just that the hands aren't compatible with this dress. It's not a big deal. Um, like I said, very many outfits and stuff like that do that. Um, I think it's just that clothing is probably going to have to have some kind of update or something as we go along in the Bento Viewer. Now, um, a lot of people have been saying, you know, they see people walking around and um, they can't see their hands or they can't see um, their heads. Well, you remember when Mesh first came out, and I was one of those people. There was no way I was going to upgrade to Mesh. I didn't like Mesh. Um, my old computer didn't run it well. And then, but you know, I basically found a way to make it work with that computer. And since then, I've been even with this computer, I use Mesh all the time. I'm a Mesh girl. So it's the same thing. Um, you know, you're gonna have to eventually adapt just to use Second Life. And honestly, um, here, this is number two. It's not as bad as you would think. I use it, this is my graphics settings. Okay, are you ready? That's my graphics. I'm on mid, and I can see it no problem, and I can run it no problem. I also have my shadows activated on midpoint, not medium, not in between mid and high. I'm on mid. So, I mean, if I can do it, you can probably do it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, you should be able to do it, you know. Hardware settings. I don't have any of this active except for this one here that just keeps activating itself. <laughs> Rendering. There's my render. 
Normally, I don't have this enabled, the attached face lights, but I don't know. People have been saying that some face lights are okay, which I don't think so, but whatever. Not if you have um, wind light. You know, as long as you have wind light, you really don't need to have um, an extra face light because the majority of the people out here have wind light. Most of them have um, Firestorm. So, the only person that really gets the benefit of your face light is you. <laughs> and which you can make your face light, your face like any color, like with the um, quick preferences. I recommend either Midian or Places Paris. And if you want a softer than Places Paris, try Places Paris too. Okay, so as you can see, the animations are still going, and the hands are pretty good. This is the one that you you put these into your stand um, AO, you know, in the area for your stands. Okay, so here's the third animation that comes with it. And you can see the hands. Isn't that cool? I think that is so epic. And like I said, I had to get it to stop cutting all the way up the top there, um, I had to increase the body fat, and that's what's inspired me to make Michelle. Uh, you can see her booty. Sorry, I wasn't getting up close on the boobies. I was showing the hands. I just get a kick out of the fact they're making these avatars look so much more real, you know? Realistic. And there is the example of going in the hips. I tried to push it out as far as I could, but you know. Yeah, it looks like she still has the animation of holding something. I don't know. Let's try it and see. It's the right side, right? Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. I don't see a way to clear the animations, so that might be a good idea to add in the future. So that way the, the hands aren't, like, you know, still posed. Like maybe clicking on them again to stop the animations of the hands. Just in the poses area. See how cool that looks? Checking out her hands. I know. I love it. That's great. For you plus size ladies out there, what more can I do to this shape, the body, to make it more your thing? Now, take into consideration that I am wearing the Beliza mesh body. So it'll probably look different without the body. <laughs> so I'll probably have to tweak it a bit. But that's it for now. All right. So last thing to show would be the Glamifera pliers to which I'm going to stop the animations and then jump back on my trusty um, post stand just so I'm like you know stationary <laughs> For those out there wondering how my 
uh, animations go or whatever. This is how mm -hmm. my blogging process. All right, so I'm going to grab number one. Okie dokie. Eventually it'll catch up. Oh, there we go. It's so cute. And this is, like I said, this is the BB head from Kedwa. I'm bouncing my butt cheek. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm shaking my computer desk. That's hilarious. <laughs> There's the uh, number two. She had a meal before you guys showed up. <laughs> All right, number three. <laughs> so cool. Number four. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. I guess she was really hungry in that one. <laughs> I love her ears wiggle. That's hilarious. Oh, which one's this? Number five. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh, violence! <laughs> oh, that's pretty. I like that. And last but not least, give it. <laughs> this one is number seven. <laughs> It's like the morning after, you know, you wake up and it's like, where am I? Wipe your, the, the crap off your face and realize that you just mushed your lipstick everywhere. Oh my god, that's like getting drunk and having a fight with the wall and be like, oh, it's your fault, it's your fault, your lipstick smeared all over the wall. <laughs> All right, so that is my post for the day. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And remember, the bento, bento, yeah, bento hands and bento viewer is all updating. If you would like to use the bento viewer for Firestorm, you must join the Firestorm group, the tester group, and use the ex. E. So that link there is the one that you want, the one that ends in EXE. You want that link, not the link to the blog. Because I sat in group the other day and watched a whole bunch of people go, it's not working, it's not working, it's the same viewer that I already have. And I'm sitting there going, oh my god, really people? Oh my god, crazy. <laughs> So make sure that you read the instructions well because they tell you exactly how to download and everything. But don't feel bad because I did the exact same thing. <laughs> I went to the viewer and I'm like, oh, this doesn't look right. And yeah, so don't be like me. Same with the HUD. Like I said, don't be like me and panic. It won't open. It won't open. Yes, it will. Just like that. <laughs> All right. So. That is it, folks. If you would like to see something specific, please tell me. It's the only way that I'll learn. <laughs> it's the only way I'll learn. Spanking time. <laughs> no, that's too much fun. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my my blog and my social media, all that information can be found down below. So if you're on my video, just look in the description. It's all over the place. Trust me. All right. One thing, if you manage to hunt me down on Facebook, which, I, funnily enough, people actually do this, 
um, please send me a message because I won't add you if I don't know who you are. And this is what I find confounding is the fact that people keep on adding me and say like after the fact saying that they met me in second life or you know they follow my videos and stuff and it's like you know I don't mind if you want to add me on Facebook but please send me a message first I check my messages and my um, message requests uh, at least once a day so if I don't get back to you right away don't get all daunting and upset I will if I will get back to you. I just want to know where my friend requests are coming from. Um, also, friend requests in Second Life. I don't mind if you have a question or something, um, but generally I have to know you pretty good to add you to Morgana. Um, the reason is, is because normally I'm on this viewer, um, sorry, this avatar to work or to spend time with my family or Tisrael which is my family. <laughs> and um, so I tend to put more attention to them than my IMs. Um, if you're a designer, feel free to send me messages. I don't mind. And I don't mind answering questions in Second Life, as, like, as Morgana, obviously. But the thing is, is that when I get these random friend requests, I kind of get apprehensive. So please... If you want to get to know me, um, add me on social media, and who knows, maybe down the road we can add each other. But uh, I kind of feel guilty when people send me friend requests and I just accept them, and then I feel like you know I don't talk to these people like at all because I'm always off blogging or I'm sick or you know, and then I feel guilty, and the person gets upset because they feel like I'm ignoring them, and it's just it's kerfuffled. And believe me, my friends list is not lacking. There's a lot of people on there that I've added in the past just randomly that people have sent me friends requests and I've like been like, okay, yeah, sure. Like there's this one person, I'm not going to say names because I don't want to hurt their feelings, but they kept on asking me to go to their store and then they disappear. And instead of saying, hey, I got to go, you know, they just left me hanging and I'm like, um, okay, so I waited three hours for this person. This was last night. I waited three hours for this person, and I would have gone to a link in their, their profile, but they didn't have a link in their profile. I mean, they had, like, three different skin stores in their, their profile, so I didn't know which one was theirs, and so I waited, and I waited. I bounced around Second Life a bit, and then I finally had to go because I was too tired to wait anymore. Uh, so please do not do things like that, all right? And that was one of the random friend requests that I got. If you want me to see your stuff, hey, great. Send me a note card with your landmark and stuff like that or, like, you know, whatever it is that you'd like me to see. Um, but please don't leave me hanging because, I don't know, I just think that's inconsiderate. Do you know what I mean? I hope that made sense and I wasn't too harsh. Anyway... I am going to leave now. <laughs> I am going to watch some TV while this renders. And then I am probably going to play WoW after I'm done this. <laughs> probably tomorrow or the next day I'm going to have the new move. Uh, how do you say it? Cologne Move Animations. Kimberly. Ha they have a new dance. So I'm going to show you that one. And, um, I guess that's it. Yep. See, I just, I want to get off of here before I remember something else that I have to talk about. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Invite your friends, invite your parents, invite your family, invite your puppy. I don't know. Just subscribe. Have fun. Relax. Get to it. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.